Hi, this is Dr. Mike, and I want to just take a moment to welcome you to uh, Western Civilization, European History uh, 202 for Liberty University Online. I'm excited to be teaching this class. This is a wonderful class and one that's well within my wheelhouse of research and interest. I have spent a lot of time studying the scientific uh, revolution that started in the 1500s and the Enlightenment leading up to the founding of the United States. And so there's a lot of pieces to this puzzle that we'll get to talk about over the next eight weeks. And I'm excited that you're gonna be a part of that. Uh, of course, Copernicus kind of set the world on edge with his discovery or his uh, confirmation that the sun was the center of the universe, which was contrary to the doctrine that had been taught by the church for hundreds of years. And of course, uh, he waited almost until he was on his deathbed. He was on his deathbed when it was finally published and he died shortly after receiving a copy. Uh, and so from there, Kepler in like 1540s confirmed uh, his findings through the use of mathematics. And then in the, in the 1600s, uh, Galileo used the telescope to confirm that. Galileo, of course, was called up in the Inquisition for his teaching of this uh, sun-centered universe. And luckily, the Pope at that time was his boyhood friend from Padua that he played ball in the streets of the city with as a kid. So he wasn't uh, burned at the stake, which he could easily have been. I was just warned not to teach this uh, heresy anymore. He went away. That lasted about a year. He got called up by the Inquisition again. This time he was he was saved from the fires, but he was also put under house arrest for the rest of his life. So he paid a very high price. From Copernicus, we go to Newton, and of course, then on to Darwin. There, there are only three, uh, in the words of Thomas Kuhn, only three uh events in, in scientific history that we call a revolution. And a revolution is when you're going in one direction and you suddenly turn and go in the opposite direction, do a 180 turn. There's Copernicus's ideas, there are Darwin's ideas, and then there are Einstein. So we talk about Copernican revolution, the Darwinian revolution, and the Einsteinian revolution. Of course, as Christians, we will you know, have something to say about Darwin, of course, uh, but the other two, over time, we've gradually come to understand them to be pretty factual. So we have a lot of great things to talk about. Uh, you'll get to talk about the creation and evolution in our first discussion board. I look forward to engaging that with you as we move through the eight weeks of some great learning. Uh, you get to do a, a research project on something of your choice from the period, but there's just such a wealth of information that we're gonna get to enjoy together. So I'm excited about that. History is my passion, and uh, I look forward to my passion rubbing off on you. Hopefully, uh, will make you interested in uh, following other pursuits as you move forward. Until we get together, we'll talk to you shortly. Thank you.